The Find and Replace feature has been around in Excel for quite a while, and it exists in many other computer programs. That being said, we're just going to review it a little bit, maybe look at some of its other capabilities beyond a simple Find and Replace. In our exercise, let's go to the Find and Replace tab. Now here's a worksheet tracking bakery items in three bakeries in New York City, Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Queens. And when the worksheet opens, all we can see is Brooklyn. Now let's say we want to look for the sales in our Manhattan stores. We could simply scroll down until we get to Manhattan, which wouldn't take too long in this workbook, but we could also use the Find feature. If you look at your menus, the Find is on the Edit menu, but you see it also has a keyboard shortcut of Command F. Let's use that to get to the Find command. Now the Find command brings up the Find dialog box and it asks us what we want to find. And the first thing we want to find is Manhattan. So we'll click Find Next. And you see Excel found it down here on row 45. If we want to go to the next one, we can keep clicking Find Next, and it'll keep going to the next occurrence of Manhattan. This is pretty silly when the list is ordered this way, but if we had it sorted in a different way, then it might make a little more sense to use the Find. If we go Find Next, it comes down to here, and then it'll jump to the next occurrence of Manhattan, and so on. Okay, so now we've seen how to use the Find, let's look at the Replace feature. Now if we scroll down and look in Manhattan and Queens, you see that some of the entries for Queens are spelled incorrectly. It's Quens, Q-U-E-N-S. Now we could just type that over and copy it down, and for this example that'd be pretty simple. But let's see how we can do it with the Find dialog box. Again, I'll bring it up with Command F, and I'm going to look for Quens. Instead of just clicking Find Next, I'm going to click Replace. And I'm going to say Replace it with Queens. And I can replace just one occurrence at a time, and it'll search down to the next one. But if I want to do all of them, if I know it's misspelled on my whole worksheet, I can just go ahead and click Replace All. And it has 19 instances. A couple of the other options you have here on the Find. Um, right now it's within. That's the scope of this find. Right now it's just looking in this worksheet. If you wanted to, you could expand it to do the entire workbook. It's searching by rows by default first, and that just means it's going to look down each row first and then go column to column. And You can switch that to be by columns. And then the two other options you have are match case and find entire cells only. So to do our, to do our find again on a match case, if we want to look for Queens and click on Match Case, if I click Find Next, Excel says it can't find that data. And that's because I don't have any text that has Queens without a capital Q. So if I capitalize my Q, then I can find it. The other one is to find entire cells only. So for example, if I was looking for Manhattan but wasn't sure how I spelled it, I could just type man and it would find Manhattan because that's part of Manhattan. But if I click the check marks to say find entire cells only and click find next, again, Excel's not going to find that because there's no cell that just has the word man in it. And that's about it for the find and replace. Although it can seem like a pretty basic function, and it is, it can still be a great help in troubleshooting a worksheet and fixing errors in bulk. Don't hesitate to rely on this tool when you need to.